Yo, it's Yuji. Welcome back to Closet Talk. Hi. Yeah. Um, I'm not dead. I'm still alive. Honestly, I just kind of forgot to talk about shit in the closet. So, and, well, that's a lie. I've been feeling like I haven't been good in the mental area recently. But it's fine now. It's doing a lot better. Because today, wow. Let me just tell you one thing that one of the greatest thing I love in the world is Asian markets. Holy shit, dude. Oh, I found an Asian market in College Station. It's called BS, I think. No, it's called BCS Asian Market. And it was like further down that, like than I expected. That's why like I just never knew about it. And like, wow, I felt like a kid at a candy store. Because there is this other Asian market called just straight up Asian market next to H-E-B or Heb. And I'm just all and I went there one time with my mom and it was so mid like they had nothing going on. They just had a bunch of vegetables that were maybe cheaper or more expensive, honestly. And I'm just like, God, this sucks. But then I was, I was like going grocery shopping. I just look up. I'm like, there has to be another Asian market, right? And there is, there's one further down and oh my God, it was amaz amazing because you know why? The first thing I saw when I entered that store was in the corner of that store was a food cafeteria and the entire menu was in Chinese. And I'm just like, oh, I know where the fuck I'm at. I can't read anything that they're serving. All I can hear is just two ladies working in the back cooking maybe something. I don't know, but yeah, I was like, oh, I'm in the right place, and then, like, I look, and they just have, like, a bunch of baskets, and I'm all like, oh, yeah, like, it is just like, oh, pristine, I was just like, god, I didn't, I never thought I'd be this happy entering an Asian market, because <laughs> truth be told, I haven't ate Asian food in a minute, and I think that's what's been wrong with me. Like, that's why I've been feeling so sad. Because for dinner, I had just rice and miso soup. And holy crap, fuck, I love miso. That is like the flavor of home. Like, ie no aji. And just like, so, like, like, God, that really helped me, like, feel better. I don't know, just like, had a very homely taste. And I'm just like, damn. Yeah, life life can be shit sometimes, but damn it, this miso soup is fucking banger. Like my only complaint was that I never I don't have like a wire what is it sieve, so like a lot of the what is it bigger chunks of miso didn't that doesn't dissolve in the water, like or like just floating around. But I'm just like, ah, oh, it's whatever. But it's just like wow, like they had miso, they had a bunch of like frozen fish which was expected but like that's the asian market they had a bunch of hot pot stuff like nubbe they had so much nubbe and i'm just like fuck like this is amazing i could just eat like a hot pot for the rest of my life just a bunch of vegetables and meat and just like and broth and just live off that for the rest of eternity and then i'm like damn this is great but i'm just broke right now <laughs> Like, I have a job going. Oh, yeah, I got a job, by the way. Oh, I should maybe talk about that in a different episode. But, yeah, anyways, so I got a job, but I'm still broke right now. So I'm just making a little money on the time. So, oh, yeah. And then, like, you know, I was just so happy, you know. And I just thought I should just share this experience to my channel. And I'm just like, hey, I haven't done a closet talk in a minute. So let's talk about this Asian market thing. And yeah, so that's that's where my life's at right now. It's pretty good. Uh, anyways, it's been Yuji. Thanks for watching.